Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for July 23. In this first video I'll be covering a list of free assets, and the next ones I'll be covering paid assets and tools. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Also right now there's a mega bundle on the Asset Store. It's got 30 assets for 30 bucks. On the first year, you've got some nice animations, some pixel monsters, you've got a bunch of sound effects, there's some nice modular pixel characters. Then down into the second tier, you've got a nice nature pack made by Cinti, a localization tool, a bad world filter, a really nice book flipping shader, and a ton of assets for making a nice low poly mining cave. At the last year, this one has a 97% off discount, so if just one of these looks interesting, then you can go ahead and get it. There's only four days left, so if you're interested, definitely get it quickly. Alright, so on to the top 10 list, starting off with a nice animation pack with a bunch of talking, interacting animations. Usually there aren't that many free animation packs, and this one looks quite unique. It features 16 animations, so things like happy, crying, laughing, it's got some applause, angry, hungry, so I could see this being great for some kind of party game or maybe something like Spy Party. Then for a nice and simple tool, here is one for sorting your hierarchy. This one is definitely a problem when the hierarchy has tons and tons of objects. Sorting them can be a nice way to keep things organized. You can sort everything, sort by alphabetical or reverse, sort by name or by position. You can select which specific ones to sort or really just sort all children. It's it's a nice and simple tool that does just one thing and does it very well. Then for some nice assets, here is a Japanese bar. It looks really nice and cozy. It includes the bar, some decoration, a bunch of sushi and sake props. It even has some playing cards, some water buckets, money and a nice cash register. All in all, pretty unique pack. Then for another tool, here is one called GOAT. Now GOAT means Goal Oriented Action Planner, so it's a way of handling AI. It looks surprisingly great for a free asset. If you'd like to experiment with this kind of AI, then this looks like a really great tool. You define your goals and your actions, define them either with config files or with code, then you can visualize all the units and what decisions they are making. It used the job system, so it's super performant and has some really detailed documentation. Very interesting. Then if you have UI objects that you'd like to animate, here is a tool to help you do that. Basically, you can use this shader and then this tool to easily modify any of the properties on that material. There's no need to create tons of materials for every single individual change. You can apply an override to just that one object. You can modify the scale, color, rotation, offset. And all of these overrides can also be animated, which gives you a ton of control over your UI. Definitely very useful to make UI animations much, much simpler. Next, for some assets, here is a pack with a bunch of low poly rocks. It's got a nice variety of styles, so you've got snow, grass, desert, and rock. There's also a nice variety of shapes. There's some really big ones and some tiny pebbles. It's always great to have one of these packs to populate your world. Then if you want to organize objects in 3D space, here is a nice tool to do that. I'm pretty sure I've seen the paid version of this tool before. It looks really useful for quickly organizing objects. I'm not entirely sure what are the limitations of this free version. You have full control over where the objects are positioned. You can define a shape, size, margin, and padding. You can animate the objects as they are positioned, animate them using a curve or a simple lerp or rigid body or any custom animation. It automatically works with meshes, sprites, text, colliders, and even UI objects. Next, if you're working on a medieval game and need some props, here is a nice pack. It's got some fences, some floorboards, crates, benches, and various items. So a nice and simple pack that you can use to populate your world. Then for another simple tool that does just one thing and does it well, here is a simple web transport. Like the name implies, this helps you handle connections in a web build. Apparently this is also what Mirror and Fishnet use in the background, so it should be very stable, very robust tool. This kind of thing can be very useful if you have some kind of non-game program that you're building in Unity and you want to access it through the web. It's a low-level library, so it's up to you to define what data you want to send over the network. Or maybe you just need a character, here is a nice Minotaur. It really reminds me of the Minotaurs that I fought in Oblivion. It's a pretty nice character model with a nice double-edged weapon. It includes the character with some high-poly textures, along with some 17 animations. If you like this style, then this have has tons more characters. Alright, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity Ass Store for July 23. There's links in the description, and also check out my own free and on the store. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.